Uh, prison release. Um, uh, just a, we talked about this yesterday, but just a, a few additional elements. The 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 Russian who was released from German jail and flown to Russia is clearly a, a Russian assassin. Um, it is no accident that Putin met him at the airport, got a big hug uh, for an assassin. Uh, one of the things Russia and before it the Soviet Union were very proud of was the fact that they did not let their agents rot in Western jails. They would do whatever it took to get them out. Uh, and uh, including taking hostages and then releasing them, pretending that they're guilty and then releasing them as they did with the Wall Street Journal, um, with the Wall Street Journal writer, which proved to work as a strategy. Uh, so uh, they, they got they got their assassin back. Um, I mean, it wouldn't it be cool if the West had has injected him with some potion that will kill him slowly, and within six months he's dead. I mean. That would be like sci-fi spy cool stuff, which they would never do because ooh, you don't do that. You don't you don't sleight of hand. That's 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 wrong. There's Geneva Convention or something about that. I do it. Um, Putin hired and paid for the hitman. Uh, I mean, the Russian intelligence. He was a is a senior officer within the not KGB anymore. Whatever the FSB FSB I think. Uh, one one kind of funny story was uh, it, 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 there was a sleeper cell in Slovenia or Slovakia, Slovenia, I think, in Slovenia, uh, a, a, a man and woman who uh, were married, I guess, but they were deep in deep cover. So they were Slovenians for all intents and purposes. And um, they were Russian agents. And it turned out that the Slovenians discovered that and they arrested it, but they never told the kids that they were agents. And um, as part of the prison exchange, the family got to fly to Russia. And on the plane, the parents had to explain to the children that they were now <laughs> that they were now going to live in Russia. These are kids that don't speak a word of Russian. They don't want to be in Russia. They don't know anything about Russia. And not only that, but they were met at the airport by Putin again, same plane. And uh, you should see the faces of these miserable children. I'm sure they, you know, had to say goodbye to their friends and a life in Slovenia and a whole identity of being Slovenian and all of that. And now they're being told, no, 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 you're Russian and you're going to live in Russia for the rest of your, you know, for at least the rest of your childhood. I mean, how horrible is that? <laughs> I mean, imagine if you've ever seen the show The Americans, it, it, was, uh, it was really good, although I, I, I lost patience with it because it made out the Americans to be pretty dumb and stupid and the, 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 these Russian sleep agents were really smart. But the Americans, it was very well made. And it was, it was the same thing where they, they, they were these sleep agents in the United States, the parent and the kids didn't know. Um, so uh, yeah, so the, the prison exchange has gone through and uh, that was kind of interesting.